Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you something really cool. So basically, I will show you how to blur out the face and that blur will follow the face in the end so we don't have to go frame by frame and keyframe by keyframe. So, let's say we want to blur the singer's face right now for whatever reason. So we have to do click on the clip and make it select it and then go to effects and find blur not the band the effect <laughs> so what i like to do um, i use either fast blur or gaussian blur but of course fast blur it's under obsolete so it's gonna disappear at some point so let me just use Gaussian Blur. So you can double click on it and it's going to be edited automatically. And here I go to my effect controls. Scroll down, find Gaussian Blur and blurriness. So let's do something like this. But of course I have it full screen right now. But I only want to blur his face. So here you have masks, okay, or pen tool, and because the face is obviously circle, kind of, depending on the person, haha, <laughs> um, but well, definitely not the square, most of the cases. Okay, so create ellipse mask, so this is what we're gonna do, just simply click on it, and here it automatically created a circle. So let me just start from the beginning here and apply this to his face. Of course, I'd like to make it smaller. So I drag it on his face right now, like this. And you always have to start from the beginning. So you have to be here at the keyframes at the beginning and also here. So Premiere Pro can detect the face from the start. And all you have to do now, seriously, is just hit this track selected mask forward. That's all you gotta do, okay? So just click on this and let this load. So right now Premiere Pro is identifying his face throughout every single keyframe and frame actually and it will create a keyframe and of course if it's not 100% accurate if there is like more movement you can adjust it then manually if you wish but uh, in majority cases this is pretty good you know pretty accurate as well Okay, so now it's done. We are at the end of the clip, okay? So if we go through the clip, and let me just play this. So as you can see, it follows his face pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Here, I think, we're a little bit off. So what you have to do, you go to this effect controls panel, and here you have to zoom in with the equal sign as much as you can. And you can see all these keyframes. And if you click on this one, because right now you're at this part of the video, and simply just drag it a little bit to the left. And then if you move, you can see it's slightly off again. So just move it like this. Of course, this is just like details. Anyway, you can't see his face, so it's fine either way. But if you want to adjust it, you can do this also frame by frame. So let me play this. Great. Of course now it kind of started moving from here. Pretty cool, right? It literally took me like two minutes. Just in case you want to create a mosaic instead of a blur, you just go ahead here, the Gaussian Blur, just delete this. 
go to effects and find mosaic apply it <laughs> go to effect controls find mosaic click on it create a mask okay let me just go at the start of the clip make this smaller to fit his head like this and of course this looks very strange so we have to adjust it to the standards basically so first of all what you gotta do you gotta give it a little bit of opacity mm, just a little bit you don't have to really but you know it will blend slightly with the image but here this is what it's important horizontal blocks and vertical blocks so you want a little bit more of those so when you watch tv you know and you, you can see the criminals or whatever and you don't want to see their faces they're usually mosaic and of course if i turn down opacity a little bit it's still okay and of course you do the same thing hit this button and it's gonna follow him throughout the whole video so basically this is absolutely the same the same deal so you can blur him or you can use mosaic for this if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'm happy to answer all of those and Thank you for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe.